All right, to draw a line, <clears throat> you select this tool right down here called the Draw Tool. Left click once, move your, the cursor to wherever you want the, the line to end, and then left click again and press Enter. And then that draws a line. Or, of course, you can keep going. You can left click once, left click, left click, left click, left click. You can keep clicking until you're done and hit Enter. If you want a closed shape, then left click, left click, left click, however many clicks you need. I'll do one more. And then when you get up close, watch for the cursor to turn into, see that little diamond shape right there? Then you can left click and it'll become a closed shape. Then if you want a horizontal line, then hold the shift key and then left click. And you'll notice that it will only go perfectly vertical, perfectly 45 degrees, or perfectly horizontal. And then keep the shift key held while you left click and then, and then press enter. And then you end up with a perfectly horizontal line. If you want a curve, then left click, come to your other location. Then when you left click, hold down your, your mouse, hold down the left mouse button, and then you can drag these handles, these Bezier handles, wherever you want them. Okay. If you want to keep going, if you want to finish it, then just let go and press the Enter key. If you want more than one curve, then again click, go to your next location, hold the mouse key down, draw your curve, and then come up to your next location, hold the mouse key, and drag until you get the curve you want. Okay. And you can keep going. Then if you want to edit that curve, then it's a very good idea to zoom in so that you're in close with that um, with that curve, like so. Then you use this tool, the shape tool. You select it, and then you can come down and you can drag in the area where the, the mouse is. It's it varies with a Mac computer. It works better than it does with a PC. So sometimes I have to drag my mouse in order to get a particular node to show up. But then once I see this node, I can move this node to change the curve, or I can come right up here and make sure you see the little handle turn fill in with color. Then that means you can drag it and you can change your curve to what you want it to be. You can also change the particular type of node. For example, this node here, you can change it to a different type of shape node. And I'm not going to get into this because it gets very detailed. But you can, for example, if I change it to this, then this node basically has a straight line entering followed by a curve. And so then you only have one Bezier handle that projects that changes the, uh, the shape of the curve before it without changing the particular curve that's leaving that node. Um, if you want to delete a node, then you just simply press the delete key. If you want to add a node, then you need to go back to the draw tool and then bring your cursor and watch the cursor. Watch when it turns into a plus sign right there. That means I can left click and now then I've added a node. Oops. And then I need to go back if I want to change anything about that node or move it, I need to go back to the shape tool. Then I can select it, that node, and then I can uh, alter the curve. Also with this particular type of node, of course, if I choose a different type for it, then you'll see that when I, oops, then you'll see when I move the node, it moves both handles at the same time because it's that type of node. The last thing is if, let's say you want to draw a, a horizontal line through the middle of this particular shape. Sometimes when you come down, you'll see when you get ready to plant the first node, it's going to, you're going to bring up the nodes from the shape that's already there. To avoid that, just come over and lock that layer so that it won't show up. And then you can come up and you can, um, you can more easily uh, <clears throat> put in the line that you want. So I think that's uh, pretty much all that you need to know. And of course, this path, I can't see it because I need to come over and give it a different color. So let's give it a different color. And of course, you can change the thickness or whatever. But anyway, I think that's it.